Hello everyone, Sam is here from creativetradingsystem.com. Um, they're making this video again about the gold, right? Uh, I'm making gold videos almost every day or twice a day now, right? Very frequently, uh, giving updates every step of the way and every time I'm checking the trades and especially the Elliott wave count and every time it is making the turn or making the you know wave it's ending and the new wave starts. I make the video and I says, okay, this is the chart and now it's gonna make the turn and then it's gonna go this way. And then I'm gonna take my trades and I'm taking my trades and showing the trades, right? Now, uh, why am I doing all of that? Because uh, of that one comment that somebody left on one of my video saying that uh, my analysis failed gold analysis and I said that it's gonna drop and it went up. So, that disturbed me, to be honest with you. It is not because of that person that left the, the, the comment. It is because of me. I am ups you know, uh, upset about me, myself. Why? Because the fact that uh, I learned NLP, which is you know, what we call it, a, a neuro-linguistic programming, right? By Richard Bandler, you probably know. John Grinder, Richard Bandler. It's all over the internet, you can see. So what do they teach? The first thing they teach is that when a person says something, right, whatever he or she thinks that it, he or she is saying, the meaning of that is not what they think they, uh, that is. The meaning of their saying or their sentence is the one the other person understands. Okay, that is the real meaning, whatever the other per person understands. So if I said in a way that whatever he thought that I said, that's what I said, which then I am um, failed to explain that, right? So that's why I'm upset with me that you know, I did not explain it. I'm not blaming the other person. I'm blaming myself that I failed to understand. Um, I mean, sorry, I failed to uh, make him understand or, or explain myself in a clear way that they will understand what am I saying. So I just want to explain now in this video the more in detail so that everyone, including my subscribers, uh, would understand more because now I feel like maybe more people are there that may be misunderstanding me or my, my system, right? So let's get started and then try to explain it. So I came up with the analogy, right? You all know that I, I was, uh, I, I'm still a realtor and I had my mortgage company and all of that. So I know a little bit of, you know, so I... I came up with the analogy, you know, using that uh, <laughs> real estate thingy. So I'm going to show it to you. By the way, this is gold uh, weekly chart, and my target was this, and then we are very close to achieve that target, right? Now, what the, the analogy that I'm going to explain is this. For example, like uh, <clears throat> home buying process, right? And I made this, these, uh, you know, notepad uh, documents that to, to, to explain, uh, you know, it, it is very good if you, you know, wait, and then understand the whole thing. Then, you know, watch the whole video, then you will understand exactly how uh, good the system is and how perfectly it worked because all the facts that they are in. So now the home buying process, what, what is that? The buyer and seller must have a contract. So first thing is that we must have a contract. Then buyer goes to the bank to get a loan, right? No bank, bank will say that, oh, Mr. So-and-so, you want to buy a house? Here's the money, go buy the house, right? They have the, the, the whole process of loan process, right? Now, there are four conditions for a home loan, right? One by one, we will see that the buyer must pro provide proof of income, no one condition. Once they have a contract, right? Proof of income. Buyer must have a good credit score, the second condition for home loan. Buyer must have enough money for a down payment in the bank. They want to make sure, they want to see your bank statements, right? Just to make sure that you have the money. And then the property must appraise to the purchase price. Then loan approved. If they get all these satisfactory answer, if all these conditions are there, according to what they want to see, loan is approved and the buyer can buy the house, right? So far, so good. Simple. No hanky-panky there. Just the same way, look at this document that I prepared that for a contract, what we have, my setup, my entry setup, when I look at the chart, what I'm looking at, that 
the price and the chart must have some kind of contract, right? The buyer and the seller need a contract, right? In order to have a transaction. So we need to have, that contract would be like a setup, some kind of setup. What kind of setup? What am I talking about? I'm talking about like a teal trend line bounce, SNR level bounce, Elliott wave or harmonic pattern with Fib Mambo Jumbo, right? You know, we, we measure Elliott wave and harmonic pattern with the Fib, Fibonacci tool, right? So once we have something like that, right, either the price is on the chart, you see that it's sitting on a trend line, ready to bounce, ready to bounce, not bouncing. SNR level is, you know, the price is sitting on a major SNR level, ready to bounce or break. Simple as that, right? Both both ways. But it is at the station. It's at the TL. It can bounce from the TL or it can break the TL, right? Similar Elliott wave, whatever I think that, okay, this is wave uh, three is finished. Now wave four is going to start. It may not start. It may continue. The wave three continue go to the upside or downside, right? That can happen. But whatever I think that this is, uh, with my experience, with my uh, analysis and uh, the knowledge that I have about the Elliott wave, harmonic pattern, I think that the, it, the price may make the turn at this point. That is the setup. So we have a contract, right? But once we have a contract, now we need a loan. And we have four conditions. Now, there are four conditions for buy entry on 20-minute charge to have a proper entry setup. That's my proper entry setup. So if I say that, okay, something is going to go up, then first we, I have to have a setup, some kind of, you know, thing that, you know, I can say that, okay, this is the reason the price will make the turn and go to the upside, right? So that would be called a contract. Then what are the four conditions to approve the loan or to have a setup and make the entry? I have four conditions as well. The first is that yellow line must be above the thin black line and the thin black line must be above white line. That is, let me show you something that, for example, uh, if I go here, then you see this gold trade I did on the 28th March, right? Buy orders right there. And I'll show you the reason later on, but I'm just showing you the, the conditions right now. So the conditions says the yellow line must be above the thin black line and the thin black line must be above the white line, right? Right here. Let me go back again. So here, yellow line must be above the thin black line and the thin black line must be above white line, right? This is number one conditions. It's just like the proof of uh, funds, right? Proof of income. If it's there, fine, you are available, uh, I mean, uh, you are eligible to get a loan. If not, then bye-bye, right? Similarly, if it's not, uh, the yellow line is above, it's not above the black line, no loan. I'm not going to touch it. No, I'm not going to take any loan, no matter what. That, you know, that's the first condition. It must be there, right? The second condition is that Sam's high-low indicator all the way down. By the way, we're talking about long setup, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, a short or uh, uh, a sell is just the opposite. But we're talking about long here. So down below, uh, okay, so high low indicate all the way down below 20 line and turning up means this indicator, right? It all the way down. You, these two red lines are uh, uh, 20 and um, 10 and 20, right? And this is 80 and 90. So they see this indicator was all the way down and then turning up, right? So two conditions are there. Yes, so far so good. The third condition is the price must be making higher low than the previous low. Okay, let's go take a look at that. If the price is doing that, um, this low at the time, this is where I'm thinking about uh, getting in, you know, uh, getting in, right? Opening the entry. So this low, the previous low is this. So is it higher than this? Yes. The idea behind this is that this is a retracement of this move. This has to be low, and then the price goes up, and then this come back and stay above this low. That means it is a retracement. And all the, you know, EMAs were already aligned. We already talked about that was the first condition, right? Yellow need to be above the black and black need to be above the white. This is how I have the E set up, by the way. 
right? Uh, regularly, I teach that, you know, only yellow is, uh, must be above the black. That's it, right? But in EA, just for the safety, I want that black also need to be above white. All three EMAs in, in line. All right, so three conditions are done. What is the four condition? Now we need the money in the bank for a down payment, right? So here, what we need, the fourth condition is the red candles. Obviously, for long, the price is dropping and posting red candles. So the red candles must be below the yellow line, then have a reversal candle and one blue candle completed before opening the trade. Now, in this case, you can see that the red candle is coming and they went below the red, uh, yellow line, at least. Like, for example, here, no entry. Here, no entry. Here, yes. At least touching the yellow line. So that was uh, the case here. Then it says um, that uh, have a reversal candle and one blue candle. What the heck is that? The reversal candle is this little white candle let me open up uh, somewhere and then i'll show you uh what the heck here um i have a 20 ah uh, i don't have a 20 minute but i'll show you in the see that this reversal candle the red red can let me open the this thing here then you can see it clearly see from bottom see this this reversal candle is like red 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 all of a sudden it's a white candle it's the reversal candle from the top it is White, 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 all of a sudden, boom, it's a black candle. That's a reversal candle. That's a reversal candle from the top and a reversal candle from the bottom. Ch different color and change uh, this uh, from the bottom. It closes above the last uh, previous candle. And uh, a bearish reversal candle is closing below the last or previous candle. And it's a different color, black, right? So the candle, so now this is, we are having a bullish reversal candle here right now, right? So this is what this. So now my condition says what? Reversal candle and one blue candle, right? On the twenty-minute chart, I'm just you know giving you example here on a forty-minute chart. But let me let me go and then you know show you the twenty-minute chart anyway exactly that what's happening. Uh, but I think uh, let me go here on GJ. <clears throat> and then. Uh, oh, come on, man. Okay, now see, this is a GJ here, and this is a 40 minute chart. Now, 40 minute chart is not the entry chart, it is to make you know, find the setup, right? Now, if you look at it, if we pull the fifth from here to here, it came down here, and right now it is bouncing from fifth mumbo jumbo. There was I was talking about, right? 61 percent. Why it is important. Because over the years, I understand and I learned that this is what happened. If you have a big move, the price comes here as wave two. Either it's going to bounce from 50% or 61% or 78%, right? Most of the time. So in between these three levels, most of the time is 61%. So I'm anticipating that okay, it might bounce from here. Might not, right? So what if it bounced from here? What it is going to do? Then we, I need a setup, all those four conditions set up before I pull the trigger, right? So this one reversal candle, one blue candle, complete it before opening the trade. So I will open it up and then I make the entry. So now on a 40-minute chart uh, here, right now I am having a candle. It's, it's making a reversal candle right now on a 40-minute chart, but this is not required here on 40 minute. It is required on my 20 minute entry chart, right? Or seven minute entry chart. I'll explain what seven minute is. But this 40 minute is only for setup. Like I said, the harmonic pattern, it's a lot bounce, TL bounce, or FIB mumbo jumbo. So FIB mumbo jumbo is right there working. So I'm watching this pair on the other screen, other computer. That, okay, maybe it's gonna bounce from here then where the heck this thing is going to go? Usually, it goes to 23% line of the same FIB. And then either it's going to drop to 78% and make a Gertle pattern or some kind of harmonic pattern, or it's going to go up as we have 1, 2, and then 3 around here, 100%, 127, and 161%. These three levels it goes, right? One step by step. Which one? We don't know, right? If it is going to bounce from here and go to 23% line, at this point, we don't know. Nobody knows. 
we just anticipate, we just think that it's going to go because of these patterns, these previous behavior of the price. So it is bouncing from here. So, so okay, no problem. I'll watch, I'll watch, and I will have my application there, right? And a 20 minute chart application to see my long setup. Do we have a long setup here right now? This is my 20 minute chart, right? I just refreshed it. So on a 40, it is telling me that it might make the turn and go to the upside. And the upside, it will go around, let's say, 192.20, right? So 192. Uh, I'll mark here 192 where it is. This 192 would be somewhere here. So it might be going over there, right? So it, at the 20 minutes uh, setup, the, there is no chance right now to go long. No chance whatsoever. None of those conditions are there, right? None of these uh, conditions, four conditions, not not even a single condition is there right now. Uh, yellow line is all upset, you know, upside down, you see? It, it's below the black line. So the 20-minute chart is like a 15-minute chart, a regular chart, my 20-minute chart. Now, I have a 7-minute chart as well to make the entry if I have a setup on a 40 and a turning point, right? So the first entry I would take if I find from seven minute chart. If I have four conditions set up with the four conditions, if not, then I'm not gonna touch it, right? So I'm anticipating that this pound yen is gonna make the turn and then might be going over there based on the previous experience and patterns and all of that. But no guarantee that it's gonna happen, right? So what I need is that guarantee, right? Just like bank need guarantee, right? Proof of funds and uh, the down payment money, the good credit, all of that. Right, good appraisal. If they have all four guarantee, they'll give you the loan. But just like that, if I have these four conditions guaranteed, I'll open the trade. Simple as that. And I'll put my SL there. So I'm what I'm doing, I'm increasing my chances of having a good trade, a big one. And if I'm wrong, I'm reducing my uh, chances of losing big and by uh, applying a 25 pip SL. That's it. Simple as that. My setup is required 25 pips uh, as well, right? So there is no chance right now that pound yen is going to give entry here, long entry on the 20 minutes. So I'm going to go and take a look at the 7 minute small chart there. The small chart may give me early entry. Right? The small chart is going to be like 1 minute chart or 5 minute chart. 20 minute chart is like 15 minute chart or 30 minute chart, regular chart, right? So uh, maybe the five-minute chart will give me early entry, early setup. So I'm going to look into the seven-minute chart, which is this. Right? Even this one, so far, it is not giving me all the entry rules. Right? Now, the yellow line and the white line, it's all messed up. So I'm waiting. Right? So what happened? Usually, the idea is that once this candle is finished here, completed, this reversal candle, once the reversal candle is finished, this pretty much is coming and turning bullish. After that, I wait for all these four conditions. The setup with all these four conditions. If I get it, if I get that setup here somewhere, then I will open the trade. If not, it, this thing can drop. Yes, very well. It can drop. It can go to a 78% or this level here or all the way here. I don't care. It can. If I see a short setup and a volume time, and if I feel like that, yeah, maybe, you know, there is a news to back it up, I will open a short then. Even though I was expecting long, but, you know, nobody knows that what kind of news we're going to get and where the, you know, pressure is going to build. If the bad news comes for pound or good news for a yen, this thing is going to drop. It's not going to go up, right? So in that scenario, I know... If I know that there is a new schedule for pound and came up bad and pound is getting weaker, this thing is going to drop, there is no way it's going to go up. But I thought, I'm, I'm still thinking right now, right? It's bouncing from 61%. So I'm expecting right now that it's going to go up here. But after the news, what guarantee do, do we have that's going to go up here? If the news is bad for pound, it's going to drop. So, well, no way in the world it's going to go up, right? That's how it is. But I need both sides. Any side it goes after the news, I need my setup, right? Now, that's another story that this already gone so far down, right? I may not be interested in going short anymore unless it goes up and then make a short setup.
or you know re reversal I mean 23 percent line or maybe 61 percent of this drop then I'll think about it just like this 61 percent my favorite thing is that if this thing is going to bounce then I'll go long happily right or if not, then yeah, this is gonna mess around this and that, get going up and but not giving me the setup. Okay, no problem, no setup, no no trade, nothing. But I must have my four conditions before I pull the trigger. If not, I am not interested. So this is how. Now I'm going to show you that this what happened to this gold uh, thingy. That you know this gold uh, four hundred. The Elliott wave count I have one, two, and then this is the count, and then this is where exactly that I said, you know, I start showing. I had trades all over, but you know, I, I'm not gonna go back that far. But I made this chart on the 30th, and then this was the final target, but it's still up there, 161, right? And what happened to this chart? Basically, you see, it went there, right? But was I sitting and not doing anything during that time? No. I had this long that I explained to you and did four conditions. Must have four conditions, right? And this is the one I took, cash out. Same kind of condition, same kind of setup you will see here as well. Again, this EA, see this green? And you can see that the yellow is above the black. Black is above the white. This is all the way down, right? Higher, low. And then red candle turns into blue. My EA opened the trade and boom, gone from 22.39 to 22.56 while I was sleeping. This is how it is. Once we were there, right, I made the chart that is going to drop for what? For wave four. Hold on just a minute. Let me just close my alarm. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so this is why it is based on because it's clearly going up. It can go up more and more and more. Who said that is going to make the turn? My Elliott wave understanding, my Elliott wave study, right? That, that was all the way up there, and I had reason to know or to, to, to think that it's going to drop from there. And it did. You look, I made this chart, and I posted it on the Telegram as well. I'm, I'm posting every single thing on a Telegram. And it came down, boom, boom, 38%. This is how exactly the, the wave four calculation is. And sometimes it goes to 52, right? So I mark here that it might go down 50, but it came down. But was I sitting there and then, you know, just watching a movie like that? No. When it start to drop, I place my EA on the short side on both charts, 100 brick size and 200 brick size. And I end up having this from 100 brick size. It opened the trade here and all the way down from 20 to 58 to 20 to 32. And then Omar's computer, his account, uh, here. This one from 2242 to 2230. And why we closed around 2230? Because you can see clearly that 38% was coming to 2229. So 2230, just above that, we closed those trades. Right? So then after that, what? If I was expecting, and I said that before, a long time ago, Right, a day or two before that, wave four should be coming to this thirty-eight percent, and then after that, wave five comes. Right, so uh, here I switch gear again before the price make the turn. I made the turn, and I said, okay, somewhere here, either thirty-eight percent exactly, or it may drop to fifty, and then it will make the turn and go to the upside. Right. But did I open the trade immediately? Do you see a, a, a trade open here? No. Right? But on a telegram, you can see here that I... Uh, there you go, man. You see that? I posted that chart here that is going to drop. Then I posted later on that it did. Then I post this chart here that, you know, is going to bounce from here. And then, not only that, after that, I said... Gold may give a long setup on 200 BS, right? And after that, this was the entry taken, and it went up big like that. It went up like that. So let me show you the entry. So this was the chart, right? So I said the wave five now is going to go up, and I do not open the trade immediately unless I have my setup. And like here on this one, you can see here that Yellow is above the black, and black is just getting above the white. 
almost there. And then, you know, it's a little bit, you know, two plus two, you know, four, sometimes three, you, know, you can get away with that. But the most condition is that the yellow must be above the black. But E, I have this white. But regularly, I can take the trade without you know, the white condition. But only yellow must be above the black. So it was there. The price was, you know, coming down here and then uh, reversal candle. This indicates all the way down, turning to the upside, higher, low, right? All the conditions. And as soon as the uh, that thing uh, happened, uh, this this trade, uh, EA didn't open it. I opened it manually. Same thing. I was when I was um, when I'm available. I'm watching the trade. I open my trade myself. When if I'm sleeping, I go outside. I put the EA on, even though the EA was there, right there, right? Sam's oil and go. So this one, uh, instead of one blue candle, I, you know, I was a little late, right? So three or four candles. I thought, okay, let me open the trade. And so far, it's there. It's going to the upside. So now you understand that this is a system, the contract and all of that. The contract was what? First of all, the having a contract means having the, the weekly chart, the monthly chart and all of that. Right, I just showed you that I made these uh, set of charts that, okay, according to my 400 um, box site, uh, uh, the chart, where the price is going, and then, you know, this uh, weekly chart, where what is happening, all the calculations, everything, right? And then on a monthly chart, so I have this all uh, information, uh, uh, you know, on my fingertip. And then based on this, I go and take the entries, if I find the entry, if the news comes in my way, if all four conditions are there. If not, then bye-bye. I don't touch anything. That's why all these uh, goal uh, entries that I took since, uh, you know, like last uh, uh, Thursday, Friday, and then today, Monday, you know, four or five trades so far. And everything is going according to my uh, calculation and all of that. Right. So now once in a while, yes, I, I make the turn that, you know, okay, for example, here, right, if it is touching this, then I will make that maybe it's going to drop first before it goes up. Right. Maybe. So I'm going to make the chart marking to the downside. But that doesn't mean that I'm telling that it must drop. No, I'm thinking that it may drop because this that is the station. It's 100 percent Fib Fibonacci level. Right. So usually it gives a, the bounce. If it doesn't, and the pressure is too, too much to the upside, and the news comes in favor of the upside, then it will go to the upside. It's not going to come down. Right? So you need to understand this phenomenon that, you know, market is nobody can, you know, uh, uh, tell you exactly what's going to happen. It's we just anticipate based on the technical that we have in front of us and, the you know, the economy factors that we know. But we still need the current news, the schedule, and the news comes out. And what if the news comes out the other way? The price will go the other way. <laughs> what the hell with this LGRV of our money pattern and all of that, right? They will break. They will not work. But when it, they are working, and if I find my setup with all these four conditions, right? So I'm going to make this uh, not only, uh, uh, well, the video is already there, right? But I'm going to send these two documents uh, uh, for everybody else on my, my, my group, my uh, subscribers, so that they can understand. And I think it's a pretty good uh, analogy that, you know, you now you know exactly that I'm not opening trades blindly thinking that, oh, yeah, it's supposed to go up and open the trade. And then, no. And every time I open the trade, the, my trade is uh, have uh, from seven minute chart is only fifteen pip SL, and from twenty minute chart, what I trade open the trade here and then put the SL right there. All you can see all the trades, all the trades like that. See that? You open the trade here, the SL was here, never touched. Uh, here, open here, and the SL was there, never got touched. Similarly, here you can see. Uh, these two trades, the trade was open there and SL was placed here. As soon as the, uh, the price goes a little bit more, SL comes and sit and break even. I, you know, before I uh, uh, record the chart, I move it a little bit uh, to the upside or downside, you know, separate it from the buy so that you can read it that the buy order is there and SL is there. That's it. All right. So hope that this time I'm um, making it understandable or clear clarified thing that this is how I take the trades based on my system, based on my analysis. Then I have to have my setup 
and I have to have the news in my favor. Only then my ear opened the trade, only then my brain opened the trade. If not, if there is no setup, there is no four conditions available, I'm not available to trade. <laughs> okay? So uh, this is how I just wanted to explain this thing, uh, the entry whole entry system. And, uh, I, you know, that's why I hold two webinars uh, to go over. The, for example, now uh, let's go take a look what the GJ is doing so that what the pairs are doing. Okay. And, you know, weekly setups, daily setups for our 40 minute chart setups. My 40 minute chart, my broker is right there. So I'm going to show you that, for example, here, this is the 40 minute broker. So I'm watching 40 minute chart, the Euro Aussie. This is what I'm watching, the what is happening on the sideways movement. Very nasty, right? So I'm not paying attention to this one for now. Pound Aussie, still up, up, down, up, down, you know, stupid moves. Pound USD, I had the trade today. You, I just showed you that, you know, from here it was dropping and I had 85 pip to the downside. I took it. Euro USD, I took the trade, right? Now, if you look at the Euro USD here very closely, what it is doing, my, I catch, my eye catches very fast because I've been doing this for a long time. I pulled the fifth from here to here. This is 50%. This is 23% or a little bit more, right? But perfectly fine. And right at the top here at 88%. This is a perfect, perfect bad, bullish bad pattern. That is telling me that it, it's a very, very 90% chance that it's going to bounce from here. But am I going to open the trade right now? There is no way in the world that I will do it. I'm going to have a reversal candle here. Then the first entry I will look in seven minutes, which will come somewhere here, if it will come. Then the 20 minute will come somewhere here, if it will come. Then I'll take it. I'm not going to open the, you know, but the thing is that I'm going to make this chart and I'm going to send to my subscriber saying that I'm going to mark here that this is a bad pattern and it's supposed to go here. Supposed to go here. Will it go there? I don't know. Nobody knows, right? So what we do is that we wait and we, you know, step by step, like I just said it, you know, it's going to go up and then give me the long entry here. I'll take it. If it backfire, I lose 15 pip. Who cares? I just made, you know, 200, more than 200, 300 pip uh, yesterday. 15 pip is no big deal, right? Because this is the beauty about this setup. And then if I get one, then I'll hold on to it. And if it goes all the way there, yes, okay, here we go. I have it's 78. Let's let's see if I get an entry here. It goes here. 100, more than 100 pip. What the heck? Easy if easy. But you have to play by the rule, by the setup, everything. This is a beautiful bad setup completely. So I'm looking always like, uh, harmonic patterns, you know, bad pattern, butterfly, gold lip, blah, 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 and the Elliott wave, which one is in which one, which wave, or what's happening. This one is like bouncing from 61%. So it may, see, it's bouncing, it's gone to the upside. And why is bouncing? Which one, what's happening? Pound is getting strong or yen is getting weaker? What is it? What, is, is, what it is that it's going to, uh, uh, taking this to the upside? You know, there has to be a reason. Then euro yen, see, it beautiful returns to 50% right now. From here to here, it may drop here to 61%. I'm watching. Uh, 40, this one is very close to 51.94. I'm expecting the um, you know Bank of Japan intervention. So I'm not interested in going long at all at this point on this USD yen. So these are all these pairs and the 40-minute chart I have, um, everything, see, this thing is just drunk right now, right? So stay away from it. <laughs> Run away from it because it's just completely drunk, right? So uh, you don't want that. And this one is messed up. So, you know, th there are pairs that are making good setup. There are pairs that see this beautiful Edgar wave count with one, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, ending. Bank intervention, Japan, uh, yen goes strong and then boom, it's going to drop. So I'm watching this as well, but it is not the time. It is just messing around here, staying there for a couple of days already. It's not moving. The setup is there where five is, you know, about to finish somewhere here and then it's going to drop. I know that it's going to drop, but this is not the time. This is not, I don't have a setup, right? So that's how it is, right?
So uh, uh, sorry about this long video, but I must, you know, I, I felt like that I must do it and then I ex need to explain, right? If, if you are bored, you don't want to watch it, that's fine, you know, get, you know, close it, run away, <laughs> don't watch it or whatever. But whoever is interested in, you know, using my system and trading the way I, I'm trading and uh, you want to learn, this is how it is. You, know, you ne must need to know what you are doing. All right, and this is I, I tried my best to explain, and let's see what happened. Even if then now you still have any question or anything at all, right? Just email me, and I'll try my best to explain it. Okay, uh, this is it for now. I'm tired now, so I'm gonna close it, and then I'll send out to this. I'm gonna make this video public for everybody else to see, and then I'm gonna give it to my subscriber as well. Post on the Telegram as well. All right. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel so you can get videos like that. And, uh, you know, I, I always, you know, mostly, not always, but most of the time I give uh, very good setups in, in my videos so you can take advantage of that. All right. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching and <laughs> talk to you guys later. <laughs>